getting onto the motorway now that's going to take us to Milan. Only 817 kilometres to go. Woohoo! Just at a rest area now, um, we can see the Alps in the distance. Uh, lots of signs for Milan and for Turin. Coldplay, here we come. Italiano. It's almost buongiorno time. I think we're three, three and a half hours away from uh, Milan now. Should be fun. Uh, yeah, just stop for some fuel. It's going okay. Italiano! <laughs> the Alps there in the background, or the beginning of the Alps, so it should get really pretty now. Buongiorno, a quick update, we are now in Italy and gorgeous, beautiful scenery all around. Even though we're on the side of a motorway at a service, it's, it's, yes. it's, it's really beautiful. So two hours to go until we get to Milan, hopefully. So it's a very beautiful service. <laughs> Buongiorno from Italia. <laughs> we finally made it to Milan. Um, driving it probably took us about eight hours, but a couple of stops, so it was about ten hours. Um, yeah, the Italian drivers are crazy. But the scenery was incredible. Yeah, we drove through literally through the Alps, and it really was beautiful. I, do that drive again anyway really really lovely the only downside i think it's quite expensive with the tolls so do yeah. your homework first yeah. we didn't do our homework we i did my homework so i did have an idea how much it would be and one of the tolls was how much 50 euros no the tunnel the fresh yeah. tunnel was 64 euros return which is 14 kilometers so probably saved us hours and hours if we didn't do it but yeah it's good we're and, here. And this time tomorrow? <laughs> we'll be at the San Siro Stadium. Ciao! Our first full day in Milan. We're waiting for a tram to take us into the centre. I think it's coming. It's... if you see it behind me. It's number one into the centre. Yeah. 
held my hand in the dark I started fighting Cause I was scared of it all And isn't it glorious How love gets the best of us Yeah, I got feelings But I'm a tough one sometimes Milan, the city of lovers Actually, I don't know if it is. That's my sister and her bro and brother-in-law. <laughs> and she's going to hate me that I've videoed her. So, the tram was a bit of an epic fail. The tram was fun. We had no idea what we were doing. So we've decided that we're going to walk back um, to the apartment. Mark wants me to film some pigeons now, so here we go. This is my land we've visited. So we'll walk through the park on the way back. And you can get lost with us. Supranze da Reggio Italiano. That's all I know. Yep, so we found a nice park in the centre of Milan. Very quiet. So we're in Parco Simpioni, uh, established in 1888 and it's 38 hectares, um, it's Milan's city park. And I did all that without looking at my phone. Napoleon the third. It's quite quiet, there's a lot of people walking their dogs and doing cycling proficiency tests. Um, but as a whole it's, it's quite quiet. So we're gonna go and see what else we can find in this park. Park Simpioni.
Mark's found fish, so we could be here a while. Ah, and a coot in it. Yeah, it's a terrapin, and it would probably snap your finger off. Probably got salmonella. Well, they give you a shawl. Oh, look at the float in. Can't get away from fish, can we? No. That's my glandular. Teenage Ninja Newton Turtles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, mum and baby. Wonder no the terrapin's not eating that. Yeah, that's your little Well, don't say that. Seen all its other babies. That's the lone one, that's the only one that's left. What's the carapins yet? No, Michelangelo's eating it. They're quite nippy, aren't they? Yeah, Nicky reckons you could eat that duck. Baby. So that's our nature lesson for today. Add another. Some commons. A couple of ghosties. Terrapin. Oh God, look at them all over there. there. On those rocks. You can tell we're not city people, so we find the biggest park in Milan rather than go through to the city. <laughs> Really pretty park. I'm glad that we found it, even if it was by accident. But I'd sooner be walking around somewhere like this than bustling streets. So we stopped off at a little Italian restaurant uh, called La Piatra Blu and um, I've gone for the uh, menu du jour, I don't know what it is in Italian, sorry. Oh, we're done. Not that that's particularly helpful, but uh, Debbie went for a, like a meat platter. We haven't got a clue actually what it is, but that's it. I think that's the one. That's my starter, which looks huge, so everyone's going to dig in. And Mark's going to go with the Debbie Tenet Carbonate. I wouldn't have gone with the dumplings, they've just given me them. So we're just going to see what it's like. But it comes with it, it's just... How was it? Try some of this. Mm, it's good. So Mark, how was your carbonara? The best carbonara ever. It was what? The best carbonara ever. <laughs> nom nom. <laughs> Ciao. Mm. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> So, the time has come. We are Coldplay 
<laughs> Ready. I tried my best, but I don't succeed. Oh God! I get what you want, but not what you need. The singing is starting. My tired already. feet don't know the rest of the song. And that's pretty Stuck normal. In rivers. So oh, sorry. Ciao. Score past four. Concert starts at well. Coldplay come on at nine. But there's so many people here already. Okay, we're finally here. This is the San Siro. Coldplay's uh, last date in Italy. And we were quite lucky. We are literally right at the front under the screen. Um, they do come out to the end of the stage there and uh, they play so hopefully we've got a good spot there. Excited!
This could be para. Para dies could be para.
concert. Oh, amazing. Incredible. <laughs> oh. See you in Bangkok.